Hey, what's up guys? Spencer Rhodes here, and this is my video on Troy Auto and whether or not there is any chance that the riders will bring him back um, from the dead, pretty much. <laughs> I mean, I know he got killed off. I know he got killed by Madison with a hammer. I know that in real life someone would die from that wound. Um, but uh, there's some things to consider. Uh, it, for the Walking Dead franchise, um, did Troy get the 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 most clear cut? He is absolutely one hundred percent dead kind of death. Um, no, I don't think he did. Um, I think they might have slightly left the door open for his return. Uh, Dave Erickson, I think he was the the main writer of season three, and uh, the way they killed him off, I, I think. There's the slightest chance that, um, you know, maybe not in real life, but in the TV show, and where you know there can be Hollywood logic and and over the top things happen, it's possible that Troy could have survived the, those injuries. Um, now I know this is a bit of a stretch, but I'm just, I, I would love for him to have somehow survived that injury and just come back to the show. I don't know, like with a big ass scar or something, or, or um, I don't know. Um, that that'd be interesting. Um, because he he became a really popular character in his one season of the show. A lot of people liked him, including me. He's my all time favorite character in all of Fear of the Walking Dead. Um, he he's just like the Joker from Batman, and. I think it would have been so nice if they kept him alive just another season. Just like in the middle of season four, if they killed him off, I would have been happy. If they if they had just kept him that long. Like the governor. If they had kept Troy as, alive as long as the governor and The Walking Dead, I would have been pretty happy. Um, now, I'm not saying that I wanted him to redeem himself. I know that Troy Otto is a psychopath and that he's he's an antagonist but his relationship with Nick and his relationship with Madison and his attitude and his perspective on life and his um unpredictability and Daniel Sharman's performance which was amazing I just think Troy Otto should have lived longer I mean they they, they went through so much trouble to keep him alive until episode 15 I mean first he gets he almost gets killed a couple of times and then he gets banished um from the farm and then he comes back gets most people the farm killed nick um saves his life nick is able to convince everyone else that troy um did not get people killed so troy is actually allowed back into the group and then they um they go to the dam and and nick and troy start experimenting with drugs and it's um I mean, there was even, like, they like they started to have, like, I don't know if it was, like, a romantic or a brotherly type of relationship, but they had some sort of, some sort of bizarre connection that I wish had been explored a little bit longer. I mean, season three of Fear the Walking Dead killed so many goddamn characters before Troy Otto. In this episode two of season three, they kill off Travis, and then they kill off Jeremiah, and then Jake, and then Ophelia... Lola, Efrain, th those are all the name characters I can think of. The entire farm got killed. Most of the dam got killed. I don't. Well, I don't know how many people from the dam survived. We didn't really. We never really found that out. But yeah, I think I think keeping Troy alive would have been really good for Fear the Walking Dead. Um, he he was really interesting, and I think he brought a lot to the story, and um, I think with a character like that, I mean, you have the three autos, and you already killed Jeremiah and Jake, so why couldn't you have Troy at least survive to season four? And one of the things that really pisses me off is that Dave Erickson, who, he left at the end of season three. He, he, that, that, that was when he left the show, and he even explained that he ended season three in a way that someone else could carry the torch and, and sort of start things over from there. He kind of gave it sort of a kind of an kind of an ending, just sort of he he wanted to leave things open ended in his own way right before leaving, but he was actually planning on not killing off Troy. He told the actor Daniel Sharman that Troy would live to season four, 
But later on, when he found out that he was leaving the show and he wasn't going to write it anymore, he changed his mind. And I think he he told the actor that he changed his mind, which I think is kind of ridiculous. If I was Daniel Sharman, I'd be ticked off. I mean, maybe that's just how it is, but... You know, I know, I get it, it's The Walking Dead, you know, it's The Walking Dead franchise, but if the, if the writer tells you, if you're doing season three, okay, if you're playing a character in season three, it's, um, you just joined the show, you're kind of a, a major character, and the, and the main writer tells you, you're going to survive through the year and make it to season four, and so you're like, oh, okay, well, I, they told me, so now, you know, I know that I don't have to get this job in the next few months, I don't have to do this project in the next few months, I don't have to move where I live, you know, actors have to figure that shit out, and when the writer tells you you're going to survive the season, they should commit to that, otherwise don't fucking tell them that, just don't tell them, if you're not sure then don't tell them, but if you're going to tell them that they live, you probably made their fucking year, you might have made their decade if it's The Walking Dead, you know, you know um, Daniel Sharman could have been really excited when he found out that he was going to survive, then Daniel, then um, Dave Erickson changed his mind. I, like I said, I just think if you're going to tell the actor that they're going to live to season four, or the next to the next year or whatever, then you should commit to that. It, it's just, it's just kind of a dick move to do that to someone, in my opinion. And Troy was just such an awesome character. I loved every second he was on screen. Just like I know he was a racist and I know he was a villain and he got people killed, but he was really interesting. Like I said, he was like the Joker from Batman and um I really liked his sort of twisted buddy relationship with with Nick and um I liked his his twisted relationship with Madison. Um even Ronnie Hayes said something about, you know, okay, fine, the actor that played Nick wanted to to leave um, fine. I mean, that's just, that, that's almost an even better reason to keep Troy alive. Because Ronnie said something about, you know, Troy's, if Nick had died and Troy was still alive in season four, you know, Troy would have been upset. And, and maybe Troy and Alicia would have, would have, I mean, they, they would have fi finally had something in common. They, they both, um, cared about Nick and lost Nick. You know, that, that could be something that Alicia and Troy would have in common that would have them sort of have a, a, a an alliance that like they they help each other stay alive they kill walkers it's very sort of reluctant they're both reluctant about it Th that would have been an interesting thing to see in season four um and, you know maybe keep it the same kill madison nick but have luciana um alicia strand and troy be the the survivors that morgan and the new characters are with i mean i think that would have been great um and if you if you can't have Troy redeem himself, if he has to if he has to stay a villain, fine. I mean, the governor was a villain and he lasted two years, so I I think that would have been great. Um, now, do I think they'll ever bring him back to bring him back to life? Uh, I hope so. I mean, I, I know, like I said, I know it's not realistic, you know, a, a hammer injury like that, but it's a TV show. I think that if Scott Gimble or whoever decided to bring back Troy Otto, bring him back to life that um, it would not be the most controversial thing. It, it would not be the most hated thing about Fear the Walking Dead. Yeah, it's a little unrealistic, but it, I think at the very worst, it would be like the fourth or fifth most hated thing about the Fear the Walking Dead. I don't think they would be able to... Bringing Troy Otto back to life unrealistically, I don't think that would be more hated than the back half of Season 2. I think that would the back half of Season 2 would still be more hated... Plus, I think another very hated thing about Fear the Walking Dead is the fact that Madison and Nick died. A lot of people, are, you know, really are really trashing the show right now because of Madison and Nick being dead. So, if you had brought Troy Otto back from the dead and have it be revealed that that he survived his his wounds and he comes back with a big ass scar or, or something. I think people would still be f focused on the back half of season two sucking and how Madison and Nick's death suck. It wouldn't it wouldn't destroy the show any more than the this, this show. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it, it wouldn't be any worse than it already is. Uh, um, people that hate Fear the Walking Dead would still hate Fear the Walking Dead. Um, and I think I think some people stopped watching the Fear the Walking Dead when Troy Otto died. So you would bring those people back. <laughs> um but yeah, I, I I would like to see Troy Otto come back and Fear the Walking Dead. I mean, Fear the Walking Dead really 
it hasn't done very well when it comes to keeping characters around long enough for you to really get to know them. It just seems like it, it constantly goes through characters. I don't, I don't even know what they did with season two. Season two just had all these characters just come, come and go, pop in, not even get killed, just come and go, come and go. It was just such a mess, but, um, yeah, like, it's just, it, they've never really tried that hard to have that many constant characters that you actually really get to know before they get killed. Usually characters, characters just disappear or get killed. So I think keeping Troy Otto alive would be a great idea. Ha having him come back, that would be awesome. I don't even care if it's realistic. It's a TV show. It's Fear the Walking Dead. A lot of people hate it already. So why not bring back Troy Otto? I mean, um... I mean, I'll admit, I'm, I'm a little, this is probably a little one-sided just because of how much I like the character, but, uh, yeah, I mean, I'd be okay with it. I, I, I really would. Um, so, Scott Gimple, I'm talking to you right now. Bring back Troy Otto. Talk to Daniel Sharman and, and bring back Troy Otto from the dead and um, have that be like a season five or a season six plot twist and don't kill him off again. <laughs> um, Scott Gimple never had a chance with Troy Otto. That's another thing. Dave should have kept him alive just because I, I'd want to see what Scott, Scott would have done with Troy's character. But yeah, I hope that um, they bring back Troy Otto and just have him survive the, his hammer injuries, but who knows? Who knows? Anyway, this, this is a pretty crazy video. People are probably going to be mad at me just for discussing this possibility. But yeah, with all that said... Uh, don't be shy. Hit that like and subscribe. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I am Spencer Rhodes, and I will see you guys later. Bye.